Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm going to talk about some Thomas Friends Magazine characters. If you don't know, the USB Magazine stories of Thomas and Friends, where the writer could take the Thomas Friends brand and make whatever their heart desired. I'm not going to cover all the characters in all the magazines, but I am going to cover the ones I find interesting or just have interesting designs. The first character you have probably seen before, and he appeared in the book Old Victor, and his name is Victor. Victor was a retired engine, and he was nearly scrapped, but he was discovered and made into a children's playground. Victor appeared to be grumpy and wouldn't talk to anyone until it was revealed that he was going to be scrapped. After settling down as a children's playground, he became happier and cheerful. Honestly, if I ever had to go to that playground and saw Victor, I would run. The next character might be cheating a little, but this character appeared in the book Thomas and the Beanstalk. One thing that I feel like is really awesome is that this book was actually a little golden book, which is a pretty big brand of books for children. But the engine who appears in this book, their name is Goldie. She is really only there to be saved by Thomas. There's not much about her character, but her design is pretty interesting. The next engine is Sydney. Sydney appeared in the book Scenic Railway. There's not much to his character, but he does get to see the Scarlet Railway at one point. Up next, we have an engine named Little Bradford. He appears in the book The Cloud Factory. Little Bradford is a narrow gauge engine who works on a private line at Sodor's power station. A neat addition is that he is actually the same basis as Peter Sam. The next engine, which probably looks the coolest at all these engines, is the Pier Train. The Pier Train is a cheery little electric train who travels on the pier. It appears in the book Thomas Braves the Waves. This next engine appears in the book, The Flying Thistle, and it last appeared in the book, The Visitor, and its name is, drumroll please, The Flying Thistle. There's not much about the character besides that Bill and Ben bump into the character at one point trying to find Gordon. And in some illustrations, the character doesn't even have a face. And the final character I'll cover for this video is... 13. 13 has the number 13 because apparently it's a superstitious number, and he is the second character to be named by just the number, the first being 16. He first appeared in the book, The Unlucky Engine. And sadly, there is not much to their personality. That'll be it for these magazine characters. I know I did cheat with Thomas and the Beanstalk, but that character is so obscure, I really didn't have any other place to cover it. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel. See you all next time. Goodbye.